everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com, 203-892-4119. So we have another Ameritron AL572 here in for repair. So I will go over everything that I see that it needs and touch base on anything I left out when I return with the last video. So needs new series glitch resistors these ones are fried I don't know what he did to it but so also needs new SO239's plate choke is damaged so it's all the wire like like arced over to the B positive wire I've never seen that happen it's just weird so the wire was touching that happened I think the choke may have flashed across the windings and just the wire I think happened to be next to it. I think that's probably what happened. So needs new parasitic suppressor resistors. These ones are damaged. Needs new straps. They're super frayed. I will um, ground the grids directly to the metal. They are not grounded right now. They have the grid loading resistors. I'll take, take this out. And I'll, it's like a mod they added to try to help protect the bias circuit if it didn't have gas discharge tubes, but it's getting gas discharge tubes. I will also replace the soft start resistor. Clean the band switch, clean the input rotary switch, and go through the rest of it. Touch on anything else that's left over. Looks like someone messed with the coil great so I will tweak that and uh, so I'll be back see you guys soon stay tuned please like share and subscribe the bottom of the sockets I just took this resistor out soldered to the actual grid connection and when I touched the ground connection it just popped right off um, someone changed that at some point. That's not original. You see these ones are black there and over here. So I'll remove the capacitors, these four caps, and the resistors. And I always drill a hole to go through both sides of the board with the lead that I use. And I solder it on both sides. And you can see these socket clips need to be compressed some of them so be really careful I've had people try to copy my work and just end up over squishing them and damaging the clips just please let me do it send it in and let me do it otherwise it'll end up being more work and it'll cost more money okay so I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see you guys soon okay so the grids have been grounded I use solid copper wire Goes directly through the board, solder both sides. Have the gas discharge tubes, one per side of the filament. Press the socket clips very carefully. There's the old plate choke. Let's see. Actually damage the Teflon spaghetti tubing. Crazy, huh? So, I'll replace that. The wire looks okay. I'll show the SO239 at the same time. As you can see, nothing. Nothing at all. It's very important to have a nice, solid grip. So, it'll get brand new ones. I source them from Max Gain Systems. Awesome company. Great people over there. Okay, so I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon. Okay, so, new Penta tubes installed. And everything else done, I'll go over that after. I went to test it, I did not notice this. So it's been arcing down there on the board. So maybe just a bad connection. So I'm gonna take the coil out over here and clean that all up and fix it. So stay tuned. Better view of it here. So I haven't checked to see if that trace is open yet, but 
I've never seen this before. This is a first. And I also don't know how it's going to perform on 160. I don't know if uh, I'm thinking a turn is missing, but it doesn't look like someone took the coil out. So could be a um, manufacturing mistake. Hey, okay, so let me get back to work. See you guys soon. So, yep, that trace is open between the standoff and this lead right here. This goes down to the load air variable cap and this connects to the coil so uh, clean all this crap off the board and cut a piece of copper and fix it so fun fun see you soon hey okay, so I cut the strap punched a hole over here punched a hole there filed the corner so no sharp edges Put the screw back through the standoff a longer screw tight it's really tight soldered both sides this, like I said before the lead goes down to the load air variable cap so I'm going to put the coil back in and solder it back up See okay I'm going to show it working it's all done then I will open it up and go over everything I did this thing needed a lot of work so it's on 160 right now you know the drill uh, Yaesu radio FT950 1KW slug it's on PEP foot pedal hooked up audio hello hello shh, 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 shh. audio hello 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 audio hello I do a kilowatt right there hello 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 audio hello 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 audio hello 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 audio show the frequency working good okay I'm gonna pull the cover off and show you everything I did I'll be back Please like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so we're back with the completed amp. I'll go over everything I did. Grounded the grids. Took that mod out that they did to help protect the bias circuit. Didn't help anyway. Everything was cooked. Put the gas discharge tubes in like I showed before. Everything's all soldered nice, nice. Over here, put the coil back in. The output network's fine. I haven't seen an AL572 in a while, so probably my mistake but works perfect on all bands let's see what else so new series glitch resistors new soft start resistor clean the relays with deoxid gold brand new SO239 connectors from max gain systems tighten up on hardware touch it up on the solder joints okay so the transistor over here was shorted uh, someone replaced these two transistors and they're two different part numbers. They're supposed to be a 2N3904 and a 2N3906. He had two 2N3906s in there, so this was never right. Someone fixed it at some point. So, um, has the proper ones in there now. Tricky to put in. Please don't try it at home. So, replaced the resistors on the parasitic board. Make sure all the connections are good on the other side. Replaced all the straps. Tightened the hardware on this side for the air variable caps. Checked everything else over. Tested full output on all bands. And uh, this thing is good to go. Just making sure I didn't forget anything. But here are the old parts. Here's the old plate choke. Oh yeah, I replaced the plate choke also. You can see the old one damaged. Uh, I don't know where that spaghetti tubing went, but that's over there somewhere. But replace that with a new piece. I have a roll of it, and no, it's, none of it's for sale. I don't sell little bits and pieces of stuff, but um, I keep all this stuff in stock. So, see the old series glitch resistors. And they took a, they took a beating. The old parasitic suppressors, the old straps. That cap was about to pop. The thing that protects the, the mod they did to try to protect the bias transistors before they started using gas discharge tubes. Here's the other transistor, the old little ones. The other ones around here somewhere. Here it is. So the old resistors for the grid loading so 
Need an app repaired? Feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. AmpRepairGuy.com is one website. The other website is HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. Lots more here to do. Never ends, so just waiting on some parts. But um, what I do is amp, I get it. I get the amp. I bring it down here. I open it up, see what it needs. And if I have the parts, I get on it right away. If not, I order the parts. So things are usually in and out within two weeks, assuming I have my payment by then. But I like to keep things moving. This is what I do. I I do a lot of them. I love what I do. And uh, as you can see, I don't leave any stone unturned. I, I check every little bit and piece. So... Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. 73.